Attracting and retaining the best teachers and staff members and keeping them healthy and on the job is a priority for all school districts. The Raytown School District in the Kansas City area has put that priority into practice by opening a wellness center for both school district employees and community members. The facility became available when a local YMCA closed in 2013. The Raytown School District purchased and renovated the building for $3 million. It opened to school district employees in August 2015 and to community members in January 2016. Superintendent Alan Markley says one goal of the Wellness Center is to keep teachers teaching. So we continue to strive and find ways for our employees to, to become healthy because a, a teacher in the classroom uh, on a frequent basis obviously is more conducive to student academic progress rather than substitutes and teachers are not feeling well. We're hitting some of those chronic illnesses. Maybe some of the best news that I'm hearing is we have employees that have had chronic illnesses go undiagnosed one because they couldn't afford to necessarily go through the process and now they're getting treatment and getting back on the track of, of wellness and healthy and hopefully improving their lives as they move forward. The facility now includes a health clinic extensive exercise equipment, a track, and two swimming pools. Both the Raytown High School and Raytown South High School swim teams call it home. Employees and dependents on the school district's health plan can visit the clinic and get prescriptions filled without a copay. During its first year, the Wellness Center saved the district $1 million in health insurance premiums, reduced workers' compensation costs by 71%, and put $60,000 back in the pockets of employees that they would have spent on health insurance co-pays. Markley says school board support has been a key to the center's success. Well, the school board has always, has always been supportive of, of providing opportunities for its employees and its students and its community. Uh, and they did not blink an eye when this opportunity came open. They led the charge uh, in bringing this back to their community for uh, the kids, for uh, the patrons of this community. Uh, it's a very tight-knit school community, uh, and the community's always been supportive of us, whether it be a bond issue, whether it be a, an academic initiative that we're trying to, to push through. Uh, the, the community supports the district, and the school board uh, is, is really a leader in innovation uh, in bringing new things to, to our district. Assistant Director of the Wellness Center, Michael Dean, says the facility is not just beneficial to the school district, but also to Raytown community members and their children. When the YMCA left, there was a, a big hole that was, that was missing. I mean, it's basically having a Christmas present taken away from you that you've had for so long, but now you have that back. And this was the place that people would come, and now that they have that, and it's incorporated with the school district as well, uh, it feels a lot more like home. Uh, the city feels as though they have something of their own. It doesn't belong to a certain entity, but it belongs to them. Helping keep teachers, school district staff, children, and community members healthy. Just one more reason to stand up for Missouri's public schools.